Hi, how are you? I am Dante with Black Film and TV. Mm-hmm. I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Good. I'm excited. Congratulations on your show. It is absolutely amazing. Oh, yay. Thank you. Of course. So out of all the characters that you have written about, who do you feel you relate to the most? <laughs> uh, that would definitely be Camille, um, who's played by Megan Good. And I would say that because Camille is very intellectual and in her head and neurotic and quirky and awkward. And I'm all of those things and (laughs) an overthinker and also someone who tries to control things and they always implode on me. So, yeah. (laughs) Yes. And so am I. I can't lie. (laughs) And following into my next question, I think that very much the quote of tell God a plan and he will laugh follows Camille very much. So why do you think that is so? What is it about us planning so much that we tend to still fail or it doesn't actually happen the way we want it to? I think that at least for me, I grew up watching like a lot of 90s rom-coms that like kind of told me that that's what life was that like magically every like female protagonist would get married at around 30 or like slightly younger than that and so I was like in my mind oh okay so marriage equals like late 20s like you know but definitely by 30 and then certain things had to happen by 30 that was just like this marker for me and then I almost had a meltdown when I was turning 30 and I was like I am like so painfully not even close to being married it's not even funny and then even career wise I was like just about to hit but like still there's a lot of uncertainty and I was just like it was supposed to not be like this and I was really angry and frustrated and now I'm realizing and I think that that's the thing that happens the longer you live is that you just have to surrender Uh, like yes so relatable so relatable (laughs) So we have shows like Sex and the City and Girlfriends, even 20s. So Mm -hmm. what diversifies and changes Harlem from those shows? Um, I think a lot of different things. I mean, for Sex and the City in particular, I definitely didn't, I love that show. I definitely didn't feel like black and brown people were represented necessarily at all in the show. Um, And then I also felt like New York, black and brown New York wasn't given a lot of love on TV like with friends and sex and city and girls and all that, we were kind of gentrified out of those shows. And so I was like, okay, well, let me like do the definitive New York set, black and brown, like New York, the way that I remember it and have those honest, like vulnerable conversations about dating that me and my friends have, like we, we put them in the show, but yeah, I just wanted to do something a little different. And also, um, you know, with twenties, This one is so like solidly 30s and it's to me, it was important to set it there because the idea of being messy in your 20s is cute, but being messy in your 30s, people kind of like shame us for that. But a lot, but a lot of us are still figuring it out. So I kind of wanted to make it okay to be a mess in your 30s as well. Yes, you definitely made this show for someone like myself okay. because I am 28 girl and nowhere on paper am I close to where we're supposed to be. So exactly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Great show. So funny. And thank you for your time. Congratulations. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Bye. Bye. Take care.